is confirmation of the minutes. I propose from this chair that the minutes of the previous meeting have been sent in answer to the order of 2013 be confirmed as a public document. Started the meeting. Sadly, since the last council meeting, the mayor of Queen has attended the funeral of Boris Johnson, who is the son that we've just mentioned. I don't need to do that to you. Apart from that, it has been an exciting couple of months in the Barrow calendar and the Barrow area as a whole. Richard and I have had the great pleasure of attending all three nights of the Wooden Thames, with the rest of the team attending on Saturday night. All nights were terrific, very much enjoyed by all, and a great credit to the area. I would like to put on record thanks to all involved in making this event such a huge success. Chess and Cage have seen the largest and our own five brothers three and a half times. We also spent three full days at the Philippi Beach in the town, which again is a huge success and drew people from far and wide to our lovely Barrow area. Again, many thanks to those involved, especially our own Bridgie and our Caribbean team. It was a great night of that, even though it was a bit foggy at times. The William Rainford Golf, Golf Tournament was again a huge success for our area and a great credit to the same team again. Well done. To have three such large and hugely successful events all in order is wonderful for the board of Barrow. We've been to lots of events this engagement, too numerous to mention, but they are very special. As well as all these events, we've had several opportunities to raise funds for the Mayor of Barrow. Many, many grateful thanks to our lovely ex-mayor Heather for organising the wonderful garden party to be held for our mayor of Barrow. And thanks to all of you who supported this event, supported weekends and fundraising, yesterday two events were noticed in the garden previous last Saturday and the Feather Road Massive Supporters. All events have been very successful and we've managed to get the sun to come along to all of them as well. But thank you very much. Regarding content in the same way. The press will be declared in the December council meeting to the review of the city. And in the meantime, the same thing, you can see the link to the same thing in the same way. And other press will be declared in the same way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I will take the question and then the relevant public and the relevant comments. The first question is from David Hyde. David's question is, what is the proposed plan to be listed in the minutes which should be used by people from London and the West Island? Would the council reconsider this idea and build a scheme on the old Queen and Bond Charity plan as a post and as a group? This would be an ideal society for the charity, and all the other users in the area. Children would be able to make the scheme instead of just using it. Uh, and as it's the question that's just been displayed, um, the council cannot consider the area to 
However, it's the view is that the world will be a few years to be followed, which will be a subject of criticized by the best of solutions. To summarize, the main view throughout the panel is that we do not need the level of energy to destroy the world's economy to feel better. This sort of common sense approach tends to lead to reasons such as the historic value of energy work in China. Which over the last 10 years has been around 1.5 billion per year. There are currently 576 mass turbine generators. There are currently 1,300 factories on the same day and night. And the last, two, last 18 months or so, there have been over 2,000 additional approvals for the design of the new turbines. Such observations would suggest that China does not suffer from an oversupply. However, I think we all know and appreciate the devoted solution. The local financial stars require a global confidence before we can address our own financial troubles. Prior to June of this year, we had no alternative but to use the unassessable European Research Financial Year. This is only subsequent to the revocation of the RSF that filed from now in 2007. We anticipated the revocation and work commenced seven months ago to provide global evidence, evidence that the climate is reaching. I anticipate such evidence will go before the local planning steering group within the next few weeks. The significance of the low housing in the UK or the significance of a new lower housing group target is twofold. The first one, a need to revisit the local plan housing objectives in terms of and secondly, I will be hopeful for an opportunity to demonstrate that it does have a five year housing plan for power. And uh, being able to be in that position will be one of the main uh, applications I am sure we will have had this in the return of the plan. So, once we can demonstrate a five year housing plan for power signal, this in turn will give confidence in defending future such power applications for our power. The proposed local plan specifically identifies the housing developments that are contemplated across Spain and by implication will need not be implemented. On the one hand, the lessons and the reasons of those things, that seems to be the beginning of the plan, the same to the successful start, confirmed that we have seen to fill some of those considerations in this process and the need of such climate climate success to provide property tools for the city of Chester. We know that this area is either identified in the local plan for housing development or excluded from the local plan for such housing development. I'm 
This is a chapter of the Bible is very confusing. As you all know, the Bible almost wrote this chapter, and this text does not involve any small investors, any small people working with bank loans and so on, because these are the financial sector. It is alleged that the large financial sector is a tax of 0.05%. All that the government has taken away from the financial system has its domestic household tax bills almost in the world, and it has raised over 20 billion pounds annually into the coffers of the government. At this moment, there is 25 local councils already signed up to this agreement. The British Council supports it, it's helping the public sector. I'm not a financial expert, but I can see what's been going on in this country. And it's time that we stood up and made the people in this society to try to see the financial sector pay something back and put the country back on its feet. My research tells me that this is um, a proposal put forward by the European Union and, uh, without the current consent of those members, and it's supported very much by the Labour Party. This is very much a uh, Labour Party proposal, and I think that uh, it speaks for itself rather than the kind of policies we have called for this one is to give them four and over the no over the control and twenty other local councils. If you look at the supporters on the website, the Robin Hood tax dot very much supported uh, by Labour Party politicians and also the government of the union and the majority of the union. And I've spoke to them in the past and have actually you know accepted my invitation as well. I don't know what he knows about fiscal policy, um, but he certainly knows tax stuff. So I think it's in, uh, we should note that this is certainly a, a Labour proposal, and um, perhaps uh, Councillor Beckett um, would like to phrase a reduce next time he intends to select it and put it in the bank of his party or other parties. But to take issue with it um, in substance, it has been a proposal put So 11 member states are working on this proposal alone. Our coalition government does not support it, and that is because the UK, um, whilst it has no objection to financial transaction taxes, which is the big piece and how a uh, tax on a stamp duty tax on shares, um, it does believe that any financial trans uh, transaction tax would have to apply globally due to the international regulatory exposure. And it's clear from the discussions at G20 meetings in recent years that the necessary international consensus for this global tax does not currently exist. In, in the absence of that, our government believes it would be unwise to pursue this either unilaterally or with a group of countries such as the European Union. I think we should also note in our economic times, analysis, analysis published by the European Commission suggests that an EU 
only tax efficient equipment that exists and broke in the EU, reducing economic output by 8.75% and destroying it to half a million jobs. The government fully believes that banks should make a fair contribution in respect to the potential risk they pose to the UK financial system and the wider economy. And the government has introduced a bank levy in January 2011, which is a permanent levy on the bank's balance sheet designed to raise two and a half billion each year. It has introduced the Banking Reform Bill and has also tightened regulation in the Financial Services Act, which came into force in April this year. We should also note that this EU proposal, the Commission, the EU Commission has proposed that tax revenues should be used to support the EU budget. Ed Miliband and Ed Hawes tabled an amendment in Parliament to support this tax rule before for the UK to be part of the bill. Our Chancellor, George Osborne, said the financial transaction tax is not a tax on banks or bankers, it is a tax on pensioners and people with savings and investments. And that is his figure. Increase the cost of supplying bank service services and will push up the price paid by ordinary consumers and businesses. There is one further flaw I need to bring to your attention in that just earlier this month it was reported that a legal opinion prepared for the European Council has questioned the legality of the financial transaction tax, which it says exceeds member states' jurisdiction for taxation in the norms of international customer law and is incompatible with the EU treaty because it infringes upon the taxing competencies of non-participating members. I cannot support the motion. Thank you. In the in terms of Brexit, I think the tax cuts are definitely extremely important for the UK as a whole. Can you tell us about the amendment? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I don't think many of us would doubt that the subprime floor is the worst in the world in terms of the space and what we live in it and our privileges within this kind of world to be in that area. Um, and I'm not all banks and owners except to pay, pay the price. If you look at what the banks are now under, um, and I think you said banks, you proposed financial sector, but then you had a go at banks. And I understand there is a, an easy scapegoat to go for banks, but the actual motivation is about financial sector. So you want to penalise our pensions. You want to hit the people who are looking after our pensions. You want to take money out of these pension funds. That's what you're proposing is we make pensions weaker. You want to hit the insurance industry. You want to make our mortgages harder. We want to hit our environments. We want to make those tougher for us to pay and make them suffer. At the moment, we know the companies that don't have any benefits, Starbucks, the eBay's, the Google's, are not paying the taxes in this country they should be. And we should be going after those who are getting the taxes in from the companies that are working here. If we went down their route, then I'm sure the big boys that we're talking about, and we're not talking about the IBS's and the Lloyd's and the Barclays and the names we know. We're talking about the Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan's, the Reuters. The guys that might get more interest, the guys in London that are making the billions, they are all internationals and they would just run into an island and we would lose the millions and millions of tax returns we get from them because they disappear to make sure they almost do it overnight and they do it legally. So we actually need to move to, to the Treasury, we have to pick one of them. The hedge funds that I work for occasionally in London, there's 2,000 in Liverpool, 2,000 um, in the Bahamas, 110 in London, and there's no employees in London because we all don't manage them in the Bahamas. They don't pay tax. So go for the specifics if you want to, but don't go for general financial sector. And actually go for the people who've got the money. Look at your top guys in the footsie. It isn't the banks. Go for BP, go for Shell, go for Tesco's, go for Walmart. Go for the ones who are actually making the big bucks, not the banks. I think it's easy to actually go for these because they're soft targets. Look at the sales we just made from Lloyds Bank last week where the government made a profit by selling what we held at the banks. So we're actually going to make money back from them. So you can fill in this interest of the banks living with most of those sales. The IRA funds are 92, 93 million costless to banking sector. The banks might get damaged when they're going off the bank there. We're currently under leaders of the world in what we're doing in the financial sector. We're bringing billions of expenses here. We've almost lost the race. 
don't put us in a position to lose them, but give us the courage and the effort to keep the children and the stuff that we know. Obviously, the one thing that we do find when we work for government and things like that is the people that pay the taxes are us. Okay? It's not the financial sector, but it'll be passed down to us, and we will have to pay for it. This doesn't give us, just as when the bank tells us, who pays for it? We pay for it. And the thing to remember is that this country, for its story is not as bad, but it's not as bad as it is in the industry. And basically, makes it worse. The money it does, and also it provides the jobs it does, because of the service industry. And the fact is that the city of London still believe in the financial sector. We went alone on this, as in, in the UK, without all without the universal um, support from all the other countries in the world. Then the fact is that they were in the greatest position. And again, people that would suffer would be us, because the fact is that um, we would lose um, obviously one of our major industries. So I thank you for this question. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I support this kind of project, thanks to the President of I probably look at it in a very simplistic way. Um, Council Bennett gave us an opportunity to look at some of the benchmarks that Council looked at to come into. And having looked at it last time, and it's looked at it as much as deeper as possible, to me, the end result is that there will be a £20 billion amount of revenue that will be raised through this tax. A tax which is at 0.05% comes at the bank. Bank is absolutely amazing to them. I do expect that the money that goes into the bank is fundraised, but at least it would come back out to back out at uh, that sort of level of 20 billion. So I still continue to support the tax reduction. And I think in doing so, I'm going along with the other 26 councils who have to stress that I'm independent, I'm approaching this in a non political way, but I'm just looking at there are 26 councils. Who have actually gone down this, this route and support it. So I'll continue to support that for that as well. Thank you. Yeah, just to sum it up, I would like to say that this comes to me on my internet through a resident of Brighton, and that is why I'm supporting it. If somebody comes to me and says to me, as a councillor, can you do anything about this? And could you put this in front of town hall committee? This is why I support it. And if I'm to do it in the next election, should it ever, I am choosing an independent, whether the Conservatives think they will be a good idea to put it in front of the council, or any other party. And that is all I'd like to say. Which is a notice of no concern, Councillor John Bailey. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The law says that this council does not approve of it or condone the launch of any kind of council election. And the full council meeting on the 4th of November 2013 is the 
the disrespect that is being put on the part of others. And similarly, the disciples that were with Jesus before he died for the world, and the disciples that were part of his political conflict, to be consistent with the plans of any true legislation that the Senate was to be done. The key points for the motion are not one of us in what we've done. The time for action is different than we said to the Lord, and we need to point to the Lord, and we all have it, and it can be no doubt. The recipients of the leaflet were in the public gallery of the time. By being there, I could not respond. Our monitor was, and the one who had the best of it, concluded that the remarks did constitute a breach of our work and his private conduct. And I was told that the Vice Minister of Green to Commonwealth stands to have some sense of mind and refused to do so. This, I understand, considering our remarks are not too serious, bear in mind that they have been removed from the website of the motion for legal reasons. I have been told that we will say to him that it was a clear offence to our publisher to reach the blood of the children. Clearly, this is not the sort of conduct that we or our residents should expect from the rest of the council, and I want you to support this motion. As I see it, Councillor Davis's motion is not about personalities, it is about processes. It is about a challenge by an elected member to one of the key processes of this council, in this instance, relating to member conduct, and as such, I cannot support it. We are all bound by what might be termed rules and regulations pertaining to the ways in which we deal with Because they may not suit one member at any one time, it does not mean that they should be abandoned or overruled. Thank you, sir.
motion and a member will make a token amendment to it. An amendment to the proposed exchange for motion that has been insisted upon taking words out of the bill or adding words to it will apply as long as the effect of the amendment is not be achieved by the entire motion. And so it would really be a case of um, taking a view of this bill and putting it down and when you think that um, the amendment um, is slightly different to what's proposed on the order paper, um, in that the amendment that's being proposed um, does point out uh, about new process being in place with respect to member conduct issues to the accused members criminally, which might be indeed, it might be deemed as something different that it would be not proposed by the Speaking from the Midlands, I think it's a point that the Lord National Leadership and the Lord has been coming out of this discussion about struggling for a motion which would be changing its order to find out our thoughts. And it could be easily changed into something different. And it's kind of slipping in its eye. For example, it could be referred to as the Supreme Leader of Work for an official session. I would like to hear. 